And as we, as we went through the holdings, we found in the safe a box with documents that had not been catalogued officially only for eternal use. And one of them was the Charter of King John. Um, and the exciting thing really is that from the first year of King John's reign, which is when this charter was made and issued at York, we only have a very few original charters surviving. Um, so having another original to add to this limited corpus is really very important and potentially very significant. With this charter in particular, the exciting thing is that if we compare it to the record in the charter role that corresponds to it, we can see that there are differences. Some of them are minor, variants in spelling and so on. Some of them are more substantial. And the most substantial one of these is the number of witnesses recorded as having been present at York when the charter was issued. And some of these people are very important magnates from John's reign, most of them located in Northern England. So really, by, by taking this new find and contextualizing it within what we know happened around the year 1200 and the people we know were part of John's reign and administration and government apparatus, we can generate genuinely new finds and genuinely new insights into King John's reign and English political and legal history.